Desert Logic here. Just wanted to do a quick video on one of my recent uh, Craigslist scores. Picked up a couple of these bi cooled 12 volt evaporative coolers. I guess they're made for tractors. Uh, they were popular about 30 years ago. Um, there's some spray paint on it. <clears throat> it was a little rusty. Picked up three of these for $100. Guy just wanted to get rid of them. All right. So unlike most RVs, this one actually has dual twin beds. One Ikea little dresser right there. The main water tank is under this bed. That's what gives you the shower, the kitchen sink. Uh, if you want to wash your hands off in uh, the bathroom, the toilet, all that. That's one with a 55 gallon tank under here. Under here I didn't have anything. So I purchased a 45 gallon tank, put it under there, and I had an extra water pump. I did eventually, I, I did originally have a smaller water pump that just used one and a half amps. But that didn't work out so well, so I had to go with a, my bigger sure flow that pumped it in. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and show you guys. Here's the water tank with its own fill on the outside, lockable. Fills up this 45 gallon water tank into a sure flow. Now I did have to use an anti-siphon valve with the problem that I was running into is you can see it back there it's that silver thing and I had to do a little uh, engineering on how to get all the hoses to kind of work but I managed to get it work and it works great now what it what the anti-siphon valve does is once it starts pumping water it won't let it drain back into the tank so you don't get air into the system I actually had to pick up that anti-siphon valve from West Marine. That's actually where I get a lot of my RV stuff. And then how you turn it on is right here. Went to Lowe's, picked up a little switch. There you go. Now because of the float valves up there, this thing will shut off uh, once they get filled up. And it'll start making a, some kind of weird noise. It literally takes about three minutes for it to fill up. Both evaporative coolers. Yeah, then the water comes up here through the hose and splits into a T. One goes to the rear evaporative cooler. The other one comes along, goes to the front evaporative cooler. And here I have a uh, shutoff switch, the same kind that's used on toilets or uh, evaporative coolers. It's underneath that mechanism that rolls it. Underneath that, that like mesh blue thing, there's like a little tank in it. Once it fills up to about an inch of water, it goes ahead and soaks that. You get your fresh air coming through that vent. It comes down and I mean, it really cools it off, at least by about 30 degrees. Here's that rear evaporative cooler. I pulled everything off, took them apart, covered this up and uh, spray painted them white. I probably should have done a tan just to kind of match the inside of my RV, but white is what I had, so that's what I used. I mean, I'm touching it right now. It's a good 25 to 30 degrees cooler. No generator, no fumes, uh, running free off the 12 volt system that I have. I'm really surprised that more people don't use evaporative coolers here in the Southwest. Uh, there's, there's enough space on RVs that you can actually replace some of your vents with these. Even if you don't use the evaporative cooling part, you can still use them as a fan. Just turn it to off. Turn it to low, and now it's a fan. You know, you can use that in conjunction with a noisy uh, air conditioning unit. The compressor in these things just take a lot of juice to run. This just seems like a much more economical uh, way to go. I know there's a couple companies out there that are actually using this. There's Southwest Solar and Tucson. They're putting out RV uh, evaporative coolers. I know there's Turbo Cool. I believe they're in Reno, Nevada. They have a great product. Uh, I'm sure they're all great. Uh, I, I stumbled across this one, and I'm uh, definitely really happy with it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment. If you have any information about these Bicools, I'd love to get it. I think it's a great product. Um, you know, 20 to 30 degrees cooler, definitely.